We'll give you hexproof just because, and we win! Yay! <laughs>What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's going on guys and welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are jumping back into historic with a little list that I've I've just been playing around with. I don't know that this is necessarily good and I don't think that this is necessarily the final configuration, but uh, I really like the idea of doing an Azoria Spirits deck. We've got a lot of really good powerful spells that, that work well in the Spirits list and some nice lords and things like that. Uh, and so I thought I'd try this one out. I'm not sold on it, like I said, uh, but... I do think that this has some merit, at least in the best of one ladder. Now, we'll see if it's actually worthwhile. Again, part of me is not sold on it, but I just wanted to give it a shot. Uh, also, just as a quick reminder before we jump in, uh, you probably saw the ad at the beginning of the video, but new Patreon rewards are available if you're interested in picking those up. Uh, they are uh, over on our patreon.com slash it resolves. Uh, link is down below. But anyway, let's talk about this list. Obviously, we do have a couple lords, like I said, Supreme Phantom, as well as Imperion Eagle, basically giving everything with flying, which is basically everything in our deck, uh, an extra plus one, plus one, and then of course plus one, plus one here for spirits. Uh, the idea is essentially to get some early pressure on with things like Spectral Sailor, uh, Rattle Chains is a really nice protection kind of spell that you can flash out, and then from there on basically have everything uh, gain flash. Uh, and then suit it up with things like Curious Obsession or Staggering Insight to, to get in there for more attacks and then ideally draw some extra cards. Uh, Kira the Glass Spinner is in here as well. This is a very, very nice protection spell in my opinion. Um, does it protect, protect against everything, but it is very, very good for point and shoot removal uh, in particular. Uh, we do have a few, like I said, tech things. Rattle Chains is obviously the protection one, but Remorseful Cleric does allow us to exile graveyards so um you know you've seen us probably if you've been around the channel play a number of reanimator lists over the last week or two and uh it's nice to have a little bit of a a, a catch-all for that that still plays into the deck theme uh and then hanged Ex executioner is kind of another one that uh not only enters with an extra spirit but also then you can exile this with uh, a creature on the opponent's side of the field so very very helpful uh, some interaction with Negate. Uh, I find that Planeswalkers are a bit of a problem with this list, in particular Ugin, uh, who can just kind of sweep everything. Uh, so I'm trying out four Negate. That might be too many, but uh, it's a beautiful card and I like having it in the deck. Um, and then for creatured lists, uh, I really like having Authority of the Consoles. This is just one of my favorite kind of prison-esque cards. Uh, not only does it gain us a lot of life, but it also slows down the opponent. So against things like Mono Red, we have a really, really good shot of just taking them down if we can get that early. So regardless, I'm really enjoying this. Some tech in the lands, mostly with Scry here, but that's about it. Uh, and this is a pretty basic list, but uh, uh, let's give it a shot. We're going to go through three games. We're going to see how it goes. It may not get any wins, but you know what? We're here to have fun today. So let's go ahead and see how this one does. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And this isn't the best hand in the world, if I'm honest. Uh, I'd like to have a little bit more in terms of early game stuff with maybe a curious obsession. But I do think what we can do is on turn two, leave up either negate or rattle chains. Uh, as options here and then turn three obviously we've got the executioner so i'm gonna keep it we'll see I, again i'm not sold on it by any means but uh there's a staggering insight which isn't bad uh interesting okay ice tunnel is here so this is going to be a snow deck curious to see how this actually pays out also look at this beautiful artwork oh so good um all right so we're just gonna pass here and see what they do. Obviously, you can flash in rattle chains if they just do nothing, and then staggering insight, which is pretty solid. Uh, or we could negate something that they're gonna be doing here. It looks like kind of a straightforward control list, if I had to guess, but we'll see. We will see. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and a fantastic Thursday in particular. I know it's been a uh, busy week for me, but it's really nice to just sit and record and hang out with you guys and do some fun stuff, you know? Uh, I've missed you guys, so. <laughs> I miss streaming. I, I really miss streaming. I wish I could do it more, but it just doesn't really pan out the way I'd like it to most of the time, unfortunately, and so, I don't know. It's one of those things that I would love to be able to do and hang out with you guys live, and we did for a while, and it was great, but 
I just don't know if it's going to continue on, uh, unfortunately. So we'll see, though. I'd love to, to give it a shot another time and maybe see how it goes. But at the time, uh, or for the time being, we will not be able to do that. So hopefully you guys are enjoying all these... Uh, interesting okay all these gameplay videos though we're trying to get a lot of them up and we do actually have some new stuff potentially coming down the pipeline which is really exciting <clears throat> all right uh so we have a couple options we can wait and flash out rattle chains uh we could also just go ahead and try and play the hanged executioner um very much expecting that they're going to have some amount of removal here uh i kind of like leaving up rattle chains with negate uh, they're getting up to four or five mana, and that's a scary place to be in this kind of list. Uh, so I'm a little curious to see what they end up having. That's very scary. Um, we'll let this hit, obviously. Uh, and then we do this. All right. Um, now what, though, is the trick? Uh, let's see. Okay. Um... I mean, I think step one, we probably should have waited on the lamb, but I think step one is definitely just to throw this out there. Uh, gain a little bit of life back. Also draw an extra card and see what we get. Remorseful Cleric. Okay. Um, I think the play right now then is just going to be Hanged Executioner. That might be incorrect. Again, I don't know, but uh, I feel like that might be the best option. The, the trick is if they now have a removal spell, they kind of have to use it on the Executioner and not the Rattle Chains, because otherwise we just get rid of their Phyrexian Obliterator next turn, which I feel like is good enough. Um, but I do wish we could obviously leave up Negate. Okay, they're not going to do that. Interesting. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, didn't expect that. I thought they would try and take out the Hanged Executioner, but that's fine. Uh, that's not the end of the world, so that kind of works. I mean, we take five here, um, which is definitely a lot, but not sure what they'd be considering here. Okay. Uh, sure. All right, so... What do we want to do here? Um, I think we definitely want to get Temple out because we really need to not draw lands <laughs> like that. Um, all right, so we do need four mana up. So I think the play is just to pass here. Um, and what we can do is exile the Phyrexian Obliterator if we need to. Um, especially if they target the Hanged Executioner, we're going to be in really good shape. That's not good. Um, okay. Yeah. That's a little scary, um, <laughs> obviously. Um, let's do this. Let's get rid of this. We're going to go ahead and pull that trigger. Um, understanding that that's not ideal, but it does get rid of that threat at least. Okay, uh, that's actually uh, that's not good, is it? Um, because they do just have a stronger creature. Um, I mean, I guess we just play out Remorseful Cleric. I don't love it, but that's like the best thing we can do and have double negate up. Ugh, guys, we're not doing so well, unfortunately. And this is okay. Like I said, we kind of expected some of this, so I'm not, I'm not stressing about it. I just wanted to give this deck a shot. I really like the Azoria Spirit deck. I think it's a fun one. Um, there's a lot of tech that is kind of just built in, which I think is really fun, but... Um, Unfortunately, just not getting super lucky here. We have drawn quite a number of lands, too, worth noting. Um, okay. So what we are going to do is block here. Um, blocking at least some of the damage. Obviously, we're going to take a good bit as well, but uh, I think this gives us the best opportunity. Man, so many lands. We do run 22 lands, which could be slightly high. Um... But in my opinion, like, we we do still have to hit our land drops. Wow. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that's uh, that's us dead. So we are going to go ahead. We're going to jump to game two. Hopefully, we can do a little better there, but we'll see. All right, guys. Here we are for game number two. And uh, this is an interesting hand. We're going to keep, again, a bit of a slower hand. I'd love to have a uh, the one drop flash guy and i can never remember his name but uh that's obviously the best option for the early game but unfortunately we're not going to have that here uh glacial fortress isn't bad though it just gives us that third mana so hanged executioner is going to be viable uh looks like red green uh very interesting okay 
Um, we're just gonna pass. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, we can flash out rattle chains, obviously, uh, as just a, a nice little two drop threat after they've played some stuff. Okay, three color. Interesting. Um, Naya cycle. Okay, here we go. Uh, Naya cycling is not a fun list, but um, theoretically we could do some interesting stuff here. So first things first, we're gonna equip up rattle chains here. And we're gonna curious obsession here. Uh, the reason being we have to gain a lot of life as early as possible because Zenith Flare can kill us immediately. Uh, but this also refills our hands, so in the instance where they kill Rattle Chains, which could very easily happen, um, we've replaced that in our hand at this point plus an extra card, so it's not really the end of the world. Uh, also, the fact that we do gain life and have flying <laughs> uh, makes the uh, Valiant Rescuer uh, not as scary as it normally would be. So. It's actually okay. Um, awesome. So we can draw a lot of cards here if we would like. Uh, we do kind of need to be careful. It's it's imperative that we do hold up Zenith Flare, uh, to be honest. So I th or excuse me, negate for the Zenith Flare. So I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and play the Supreme Phantom uh, and just attack here. So that's gonna gain us five, which is gonna be a good bit. And then hopefully we can just kind of shut down whatever they they they'd like to do uh, this coming turn. If we don't, that's fine. But we do have a little blocker here that can also deal with some stuff as well. So I think that this is the best play. It just holds back a little. Um, but as well as that, it also provides us with some outs, if that makes sense. Um, Zenith Flare right now is really not going to do anything, I suppose, anyway. Um, but having to gate in case they have a wrath, you know, you you never know what they could have. This is a very um, it's a very interesting deck because a Wrath effect isn't the end of the world for them, given that this fills their yard with more cycling stuff, in which case they are uh, basically able to, to do whatever they want. Worth noting, we can just flash out Supreme Phantom as well. Um, so if they do attack with the, the Rescuer, we can flash out the, the Phantom thanks to Rattle Chains and then just block with the other Phantom. Uh, so we've got, we've got some options. Uh, Rattle Chains is such a sweet card, by the way. <laughs> Uh, if you don't know, that card is ridiculous. Um, sure. Uh, the only thing I guess we need to worry about is some kind of combat trick, uh, but it looks like they're not going to have it here, so that's good. Um, they may try and attack with that Rescuer. They, I mean, they might not, but I feel like that's not a terrible play. Okay. Cool, so we're going to flash this out and get some more power on the field first. Uh, let's do this um i'm gonna play the eagle again just powering as much up as we possibly can here uh and then this should win us the game yeah easy enough that was just a very straightforward game so uh we did it all, all right that, that wasn't too bad all right so let's go ahead uh let's jump into game three all right guys here we are for game number three uh and this is not the best hand either uh we've kind of had bad luck in our opening not bad luck just not uh optimal draws we will say however uh this does give us some options what we can do is turn one hollowed fountain uh land is not what we wanted off the top although double white is i guess helpful somehow <laughs> um charming prince sure so this is going to be Yorian Blink, obviously, the idea being that they uh, they put a bunch of stuff out that has ETB effects and then they just bounce it all. Um, really, really nice, actually. So I, I love this deck, but let's see what we can do. Um, obviously, we could just get Phantom down next turn, which I think is probably the right call. Uh, I'm not positive, but I feel like that's probably correct. Wow, another land. Uh, but this gets the uh, turn three Curious Obsession potentially going here. Um, other option is obviously just Hanged Executioner. Uh, I'm not going to block. On the off chance they have some kind of pump spell, I am not trying to risk that, so let's not do it. Uh, let's throw this out. Let's throw this out first and see what happens. They definitely have something that they can do here, I think. Uh, but now let's go for this. Um, and see if we can get a free attack in, uh, as well as a card draw opportunity, which is obviously quite good for us. Um, this just powers us up, though, so... Ah, Gideon's Triumph. What? Uh, what an odd card to have. Okay. 
So they were trying to get us with this last turn, I imagine. Yeah, if it attacked or blocked this turn. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to block this time. If they want to Gideon's Triumph, okay. So I think if they had had the Gideon's Triumph, they probably would have run it that time. Uh, and they didn't. So we're going to attack in here for one, which isn't anything amazing, obviously. But uh, now... I think we end up just flashing in the rattle chains here. Uh, what that means for us is that we can rattle chains plus negate, and then next turn if we don't negate, we have hanged executioner plus negate, uh, which is just really solid. I'm not gonna block here with the rattle chains. There's no reason to really. They're stuck on two lands here, so this is uh, an interesting place for them to be in. Uh, let's do this, uh, and let's attack. I mean, eventually we win this race, like, by a long way. Uh, and so they need to hit lands, and they're so far not doing so. So we're kind of just getting lucky here. Uh, but I'll take it. Hey, I will happily take it. Uh, no? What is this? They're returning. Why? Why would you do that? That seemed very useless. <laughs> nice, I love that. Uh, that was so useless, I don't know why they did that. Um, we're not blocking, this is not an instance where we need to. Um, let's go ahead and attack in. And here again, we just get to leave stuff up. We're easily winning this race, guys, so I am not stressing. Whatever they've got, we're negating as quickly as we can uh, if it is a non-creature spell. If it happens to be a creature, it is what it is. We're gonna take it. <clears throat> they just have nothing? That we will negate. 100%. Um, and now we'll just flash out Rattle Chains. We'll give you Hexproof just because. And we win! Yay! <laughs> we did it! All right. Let's jump into a quick summary of today's deck. Uh, this has been an interesting one for sure. All right, guys, so let's talk Azorius Spirits for a second, because again, I want to reiterate the fact that this deck is very much a work in progress. It's really just a pet deck of mine. It's not something that is necessarily top tier or anything close, but there's a lot to love about Spirits, I think. Uh, not only do you have the Lord aspect where there's a number of them on Historic, but you also have a lot of tech Spirits uh, that can do a lot of different things, and we actually didn't include a lot of those tech Spirits in this list. I think most of them we kind of omitted due to going the kind of Curious Obsession, Staggering Insight route where we we're just kind of trying to be aggressive more so. Uh, and so I... I kind of like that line, I'll be honest. Um, I, I think it worked out. I mean, we, we got two out of three of the games, uh, which isn't bad. Um, and I think we had more outs than we would normally have thanks to the negate. Previous to this version of the list, I did have a different version that did not run negate uh, and instead had um, Skyclave Apparition, which worked well against like getting stuff off of the field on the opponent's end. But what I found is that because we're generally able to outpace or outmaneuver uh, the the creature decks. It's really not that big of a deal to to have the Skyclave Apparition. It also doesn't get a buff from the Empyreon Eagle. Uh, it does from the, the Supreme Phantom, but not the Eagle. And so I didn't feel like that was necessarily the best option. Uh, and so I'm actually very happy to swap that out with Negate. I mean, we saw it not do a ton of work, but in that last game even, we, we were able to counter something which... Uh, could have at least eventually taken over the game had they um, done a little bit more in terms of mana. Uh, and so I think we, I mean, we didn't need it, but it was definitely a help. And being able to leave that up against like an opposing Wrath of God, for instance, uh, or a Settle the Wreckage or, or something along those lines, those big blowout spells that we can easily lose to, an Ugin even, um, is a really, really nice option to have. And so I do like the inclusion of negates. I'm gonna keep playing around with this list. If you guys have a spirits list that you find really, really fun or you really, really like and you think 
Uh, maybe it's better than this one. That's awesome. Please share it. I would love to see it. Uh, we do have a Discord community down below, so if you're interested, you can check that out. And we'll we'll hang out, we'll chat, and we'll uh, we'll see who who can create the best deck. But regardless, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, again, if you enjoyed this content, uh, check out our Patreon. We really do appreciate all the support there. You guys are amazing. I don't want to encourage anybody to spend money they don't have, but if you would like to support our channel, um, if you really just enjoy it for some reason, that's awesome. That's a really great place to do it. Uh, we also get to send you guys monthly proxies, which is really, really fun as just a little thank you. So please do check that out. And until the next gameplay video, guys, I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Have a fantastic Thursday.